50 Bible Curiosities That Will Surprise You The Bible is one of the books that, for better or worse, has had the greatest influence on Western culture. It is a unique piece of work that is not without its own surprising facts, its own mysteries and enigmas, which have given rise to so much research among connoisseurs and laymen alike. Now, whether you are religious or, on the contrary, a non-believer, this book contains multiple curiosities of great interest that everyone should know, at least as a general culture. And the fact is that this book contains the most fascinating passages, and it also has a few particular stories that are worth knowing. Are you ready to know all these curiosities of the Bible? Let's open the Sea of the Exceptional and discover all these biblical curiosities. Number 1. The Bible is one of the oldest books in existence. The first of these biblical curiosities is that the texts that make up this incredible book appear long before paper and even pencils. The way it was written was through parchments or papyrus strips, which is why it is one of the oldest books in existence. Number 2. The name Eva is very special. Eva is a name that has more to do with a verb than a noun. It would mean to live and, applied to Eve, it would be she who gives life. Adam chooses this name because she would be the mother of all the living. Something he could not be. In fact, Eve's is among one of the most fascinating biblical names for women. Number 3. Goliath did not die in the way most people remember. We all remember the story of the famous Goliath, the giant who lost his life to a stone from that daring young shepherd named David. But we're sorry to tell you that was not his true end. In fact, if we take a look at Samuel 17:48-51, we will discover that Goliath ended up dying by his own sword, one of the lesser-known curiosities of the Bible. Number 4. Where does the word Bible come from? Curiously, this word does not appear in any of its pages or in the texts that compose it. It comes from Greek and means papyrus for writing. It was Constantine who was the first to use this denomination, paradoxically a person who was not exactly Catholic. Number 5. God was always somewhat severe with his prophets. The one who knew it well was Isaiah, the poor man received a controversial order that he fulfilled faithfully, to walk without clothes and barefoot for three years. Number 6. King Ahaz, the most modern king in the Bible. Among all the multitude of people who appear reflected in the holy book of the Bible, there is one who stands out especially for his modernity, King Ahaz. Why? Because he wore a watch. Number 7. The Bible does not tolerate tattoos. You might be surprised to know that the Bible strictly forbids tattoos, and you shall not make any scratches on your body for a dead man, nor print any mark on it. It seems to be pretty clear, you can see this in Leviticus 19 verse 28. Number 8. What is the last text that appears in the Bible? You've probably thought of the same thing most people think, Revelation. It is an erroneous association, since the last part is dedicated to John, and it is he who speaks to us profoundly about this thorny subject. Number 9. Of the entire Bible, only a very small part is God's exact words. According to what the Bible tells us, God only wrote a small but important part of the book. That's right, the Ten Commandments. On the other occasions, it was his voice that prompted others to write about him and his words. Beyond that, what we do know is that the Bible offers us the best phrases of religion. Number 10. There are incredibly long-lived humans in the Bible. One of the curiosities of the Bible that is striking is the longevity of many of its figures. In the book of Genesis, for example, we are told of seven people who exceeded no less than 900 years of age, Adam, Seth, Enos, Chanan, Jared, Methuselah and Noah, all of whom were born before the flood. And let's not forget Methuselah, do you know how old he lived? He died at the age of 969. A nice number that stands as the world record for longevity. It is important to note that, to this day, there are those who believe that these ages are the result of a mistranslation of the original Bible. 
In fact, it is believed for example that Methuselah's age was 969 lunar months when he died, which would be equivalent to 78, 5 years of age. This is because the early Jewish tribes used lunar months to measure time. What do you think? Number 11. There is an apocalypse of Peter that was excluded. There are many texts that, as the decades passed, were discarded from the Bible to cease to be considered sacred. This is the case of the Apocalypse of Peter, which appeared in the Muratorian Fragment, which was the oldest list of the canonical books that made up the New Testament. It is worth mentioning that in this same fragment it is mentioned that the Apocalypse of Peter had ceased to be read in many churches. What did this Apocalypse say to start rejecting it? In it heaven and hell are described, with really lurid details regarding the punishments received in hell. Number 12. Every number that appears has a meaning. That's right, and this is one of the most fascinating biblical curiosities. Whenever you come across a numerical datum in the Bible, you should suspect that it is trying to convey something more than a mere quantity. In fact, there are many numbers in the Bible with a powerful meaning. Undoubtedly, one of the best curiosities of the Bible. Number 13. The Writers of the Bible. We continue with our biblical curiosities. Another one is that it is known that at least 40 different people wrote parts of the Bible. However, some were more prolific than others. The Apostle Paul wrote at least 13 books of the Bible. He may also have been the author of the book of Hebrews. Moses, for his part, wrote the first five books. Also, although they are not all collected in the book of Proverbs, the Bible attributes more than 3,000 to King Solomon. Number 14. Those who wrote the Bible had very different origins. This is perhaps one of the most interesting curiosities of the Bible. While some parts of the Bible were written by kings, others were the work of farmers, fishermen, prophets, doctors, scribes, musicians, and even shepherds who were deeply Christian. Number 15. The longest chapter in the Bible and the shortest. The longest chapter if the Bible is Psalm 119 with 176 verses. The shortest chapter is Psalm 117 with only two verses. Incidentally, the central chapter of the Bible is also Psalm 117. On the other hand, the longest book of the Bible is Psalms with 150 Psalms and contains 43,743 words. The shortest book is the third epistle of John with only one chapter and 299 words. Number 16. Chapters and Verses of the Bible. Another of the curiosities of the Bible is that each of the books that make up the Bible are divided into chapters and verses, except for five of these. The five books that are not divided by chapters are Obadiah, Philemon, 2 John, 3 John and Jude. This is because they are short books that have only verse divisions. Chapters were introduced into the Bible in 1238 by Cardinal Hugo de S. Caro. Number 17. And how many books does the Bible have? If you too have wondered how many books the Bible has, we have the answer, it depends on the religion and religious branch we are talking about. Let's see a little more. The Tanakh, or Hebrew Bible, has 24 books. The Old Testament, consulted by Protestants, has 39 books. It should be said that they are the same books in the first and the second case, but distributed in a different way. For Catholics the Bible consists of 73 books. 46 books of the Old Testament and 27 of the New Testament. For Orthodox Catholics, the Bible has 50 books. Did you think they were the same books in all cases? Is it one of those biblical curiosities that have surprised you? Number 18. The Names of God in the Bible, Old Testament. One of the curiosities of the Bible is that, as you may know, there are several names of God in the Bible, specifically in the Old Testament, to refer to the Almighty. Let's discover some of them. Elohim, it means gods in Hebrew. Yahweh or Yahweh Yahweh is usually translated as he who is or he who lives in Hebrew. Adonai means the Lord in Hebrew. 
Elion means the Most High. The New Testament most often uses appellatives such as Father, God the Father or Abba. Number 19. There are many dreams in the Bible. A total of 21 dreams are described in the Bible and most of them are of two men named Joseph. Number 20. The time it took to write the Bible. One of the biblical curiosities that is striking in its contrast is that while the Old Testament took about 1,000 years to write, the New Testament was created in approximately 50 to 75 years. Number 21. The Longest Verse. The longest verse in the Bible consists of about 80 words, and is even longer than the shortest of the Psalms in Christianity's holy book, Psalm 117. This verse is Esther 8 verse 9. Number 22. The Messiah is coming. Throughout the Old Testament we find more than 300 prophecies announcing the coming of the Messiah, prophecies which, according to Christianity, were fulfilled with the coming of Christ. In the New Testament, on the other hand, we find more than 500 prophecies that speak of the return of the Son of God, do you think they will be fulfilled? Number 23. The Miracles of Jesus. Another of the curiosities of the Bible are, without a doubt, the miracles. How many did Jesus perform? Well, if we stick to the words of the Holy Book of Christianity, we count about 48 miracles in the New Testament, not counting those performed by his Father in the Old Testament. Number 24. Paul's 100. As we told you above, more than 40 people participated directly in the writing of the Sacred Book of Christianity, and one of the most prolific contributions was made by Paul, who wrote some 100 chapters, containing more than 2,300 verses. And to think that he once dedicated himself to persecuting Christians. Number 25. The Work of Noah. Within the sacred text, we find great characters who are capable of great deeds in the name of God. One of them is Noah, and his great feat was to build the ark. What few know about this story is that Noah was more than 600 years old when he managed to finish the work of building the ark. One of the most surprising curiosities of the Bible, without a doubt. Number 26. 150 Days Underwater. Another of the curious facts or biblical curiosities related to Noah is the amount of time the earth was covered by the waters of the flood, no more and no less than 150 days. Number 27. Sarah, Mother at 90. God undoubtedly works in mysterious ways, and one of the great examples of this is that Sarah was already 90 years old when she finally received, by God's grace, the promise that she would have Isaac, her son. Can you imagine someone today being a mother at 90? Number 28. Great Miracles. As we told you above, Jesus performed multiple miracles, 48 of which can be found in the New Testament. But which one was the most important? Although it is difficult to place them on a scale of importance, undoubtedly one of the most amazing was when Jesus fed some 5,000 men with five loaves of bread and two fish. This great feat, which constitutes one of the curiosities of the Bible, can be found in the book of Matthew. Number 29. You'll deny me three times before the cock crows. So Jesus told Peter the night before his crucifixion, which Peter strongly denied. Nevertheless, the next day he fully complied with the words of the Son of God. Number 30. The Name of Jehovah. The name of Jehovah is not necessarily one of the most repeated words in the Bible, but it is a fact that we can find it almost 7,000 times throughout the text, although this number may vary according to the different versions of the biblical text. Number 31. The Conquest of the Promised Land. To conquer the land promised by God, Joshua had to defeat some 31 different kings. An epic struggle, no doubt. Number 32. The Number 7. As we told you above, one of the curiosities of the Bible is that no number is in vain. And one of the most repeated in the sacred text is the number 7, which is, for the religious, the sacred or perfect number. For example, creation took God six days, 
and he rested on the seventh. Number 33. 900 or more. Methuselah reached the age of 969 years, crowning him as the longest-lived person in the biblical text and as one of the curiosities of the Bible. However, Methuselah was not the only one, as characters such as Adam, Cain, Jared, Seth or Enos also exceeded 900 years of age. These biblical curiosities are surprising, no doubt. Number 34. Manna to Eat. The children of Israel wandered lost in the desert for 40 years. And what did they eat for so long in such a desolate area? Well, if we go by the biblical text, manna. Number 35. Jesus was baptized at the age of 30. Although today it is tradition to be baptized at a very young age, in order, according to the church, to purify ourselves of original sin by following God's way, the truth is that Jesus was not baptized until he was 30 years old, when he officially began his ministry. Number 36. Before and after Christ. Undoubtedly, there are characters that have marked the history of the world, and Jesus has been one of the most important. In fact, he alone has managed to break the history of mankind in two by dividing it, by his importance, into before and after his arrival. Number 37. Vanity of Vanities. The phrase vanity of vanities appears at least 34 times in the book of Ecclesiastes. Number 38. The Bible in Miniature. According to studies, some say that the book of Isaiah is the Bible in miniature, or the fifth gospel. A curiosity, Isaiah has 66 chapters, the Bible 66 books. Number 39. 70 Sons. Of all the characters that appear in the Bible, Gideon seems to be the one who left the most descendants, since it is said in the sacred text that he had 70 sons. Of course, Adam's descendants could have been greater, if we count that, according to the biblical text, we all come from him. Undoubtedly, one of the most surprising biblical curiosities. Number 40. The number 40. Another of the numbers that constitute one of the curiosities of the Bible is the number 40. For 40 days it rained during the flood, 40 years the people of Israel wandered in the desert, 40 days Jesus fasted in the desert. Undoubtedly, it is a number with a special meaning. Number 41. The Deadly Sling. We all know the story of David and Goliath, but what is not well known is that in the tribe of David most of the warriors were experts in the use of the sling. In fact, out of this whole tribe there were 700 chosen men who would throw a stone with the sling at a hare and not miss. Number 42. Samson's hair. Another of the curiosities of the Bible is that it was not Delilah, but a man who cut Samson's hair. She only made him fall asleep on her knees to have it cut off. Number 43. The Book of Esther. One of the biblical curiosities that has to do with the Book of Esther is that in this book, it nowhere mentions the word God literally. Number 44. 1,189 chapters. Although the number may vary according to the type of Bible we are talking about, it is known that the sacred text of Christianity that is traditionally used contains about 1189 chapters, most of which are distributed in the books of the Old Testament. Number 45. Paul wrote 100 chapters. Of the 1189 chapters contained in the Bible, 100 of them were written by the Apostle Paul. Number 46. 430 years in Egypt. According to the book of Exodus, the children of Israel were forced to live in Egypt for 430 years. Number 47. How many words are there in the Bible? Another of the curiosities of the Bible is, without a doubt, its length. Although it may vary according to the version of the sacred text, experts estimate that the Bible contains more than 3,500,000 letters, and about 700,000 words. Number 48. Lord. Of all the words in the Bible, Lord is one of the most repeated. 
In fact, it can be found about 18,000 times in the sacred text, which implies that it can be found, on average, about two times for every 100 words. Number 49. 600 Chariots After God's People To pursue the people of Israel, Pharaoh made use of about 600 chariots. Number 50. God was appeased. If read properly, one can identify a process of God's maturation in the Bible. At first, this was destructive and fatal, but as you move through the sacred text, and especially when you get into the New Testament, we are encountering a God who is more love than punishment. What did you think of our video about these curiosities of the Bible? Do you know any others that we should include in our list? Leave us your opinion in the comments, we look forward to reading it.